Hello, this is Sean Conley from Epic Games, and today we're going to have a look at Quick Render, which is a new feature in 5.6. So, some of you may have noticed that uh, when you enable Movie Render Queue, you see this little button up here. In this particular instance, it says Begin Render, but if you look in the tooltip, you'll see now that there's a dash Quick Render. If you hit this little three button thing here, you'll see that there are two modes now. One is Movie Render Queue, which is the the same system that's been in here for a while. And one is quick render, which is new. If you hit this button here, you'll see that a render pops up, which is great. Let's dive in and explore this a little bit. Yeah, if you click the, the buttons here, go down to this quick render settings. Let's open this quick render settings. This is just kind of like a render globals, for lack of a better comparison for quick render. Most of this stuff in here, well, not most, but some of the stuff in here, especially with the quick render modes, you can get to here, but we're just going to have a look at the settings here. So there's, as I said, there's a few different modes. There's the current viewport, selected camera, current sequence, use viewport, camera in sequence. So current viewport is exactly as it says, like if I'm navigating just my perspective camera and I want to hit render, it will render from whatever camera view you set this to, which is super handy, right? Like you, you don't have to go make a level sequence. You don't have to make a cine camera and put it in there and open MRQ and load it in MRQ. This, this makes, you know, look deving or setting poses or, you know, setting environment tasks super, super quick now. Let's go down some of this list. So there you can add your own graph to this and your own custom graph. Uh, this is after the render, right? Like, what do you want it to do after the render? What it's been doing under here is it's actually been opening up the render after it's done. So let's let's try this again. So if we quick render, it should open up RV with the image. Amazing. Down here, here this is this apply viewport look, right? First, let's go in here and uh, let's make ourselves. We're going to start editing this. The Warm up is irritating me. So what's nice about this is you you can add your own movie render queue config, right? So if you go here, you say movie render queue config, and you say Sean MRG, and then let's load that in. What we can do now is we can skip the warm up, save, and now when we render, there you go. It should be a lot faster, and it'll play output. Amazing. So here, what this what this apply viewport look stuff is, if you open this, you'll see OCIO, show flags, B mode, visibility, uh, show actor, show editor only actors. So like view mode, for example, if I were to go change this view mode here to unlit, if I were to render, you'll see that now it respects the view mode that I'm in. If I were to turn that off and I were to render while I am in the unlit view mode, you'll see that it's still going to render the lit view. So if you're in some sort of view mode here, you know, like if you're in some sort of lumen debug view, or if you want to see wireframe or lit wireframe, you can go in here and enable the view mode flag. This, the show editor only actors, it'll be the same thing like with all of these icons, right? So let's take this back to the lit. And now let's go here. And since we have this show editor only actors enabled, you see, you can see your cameras, you can see your decal icons, you can see your lights, probably especially handy for cameras and light position. Let's turn that off. Show flags, same thing. So it will be up here, right? So let's toggle. Let's toggle um, decals on and off, right? So decals are kind of like this little dirt here. If we had show flags turned off, but decals, so let's turn decals off, right? Oh, I turned something else off. I don't know what it is. Anyways, so let's render that. You see that the dirt and everything is here. So our decals are showing up in the render. But if we were to turn show flags on, you'll see that those decals are not showing up in the render anymore. So the sh show flags will respect the show flags here, right? Like if you want to turn off fog or hair or landscapes. 
Uh, OCIO, same thing. If you have OCI applied to your viewport, it will either render with OCIO on or off. And then uh, visibility. So the last thing here is visibility. Let's um, let's go over here and let's take this. And you know, any person who's rendered with Movie Render Queue knows that this can be a source of confusion or frustration. Uh, anyway, so if you turn that off in the viewport, let's turn that off real quick. That was our table there. You see that the turned over table is in the render. Now, if you turn visibility on, so it respects visibility, render, you'll see that the table has disappeared from your render. All right. Let's turn that back on and let's remove this. So uh, this after render, I have it set to uh, play render output. You can do nothing or you can open output directory. So you can render here and then it will open your output directory. These are, you know, kind of some of the renders that we've been doing. So if you wanted to just, you know, open them yourselves, you can do that or you can do nothing there, which is great. So here, so let's go to selected cameras, right? So here is, so if we go here and let's, do I already have this? Yeah, great. Okay. So I've got five cameras here looking at different positions. So if you render with selected cameras, and let's do this so that we don't have to warm up every time, and we will open up the three. You'll see it go through. It's going to open the output directory. And here, it is rendering, it rendered all of our different cameras, which is great. Now, what's awesome about this as well is that you can go into the movie render graph and you can bubble up variables here to this UI. So here, one, you know, kind of potential flaw is great. You know, I, I don't know what camera rendered what frame here, right? So if you open your movie render graph here and let's go here and let's expose the file name format and then right click and promote this to variable and save. And then once this is a variable here, there we go. Now you can enable this and where it says layer name, we, we can do, you know, instead of, uh, we can do underscore and then camera name. So now if we look here and we render, oh, what did I? we'll see that it's camera actor, camera actor two, camera actor three, camera actor four, camera actor five. So, you know, having the variables here is super powerful. Now let's go to render current sequence. Okay, we don't have a sequence open. Let's go ahead and open a sequence. I can find one. Uh, oh, here we go. So render current sequence will, you know, take all of this stuff into account here, right? So it'll just render the sequence from the sequence camera. Let's put our Sean graph in here so we don't have to deal with them more about. But the same things apply here, right? So, you know, you can say, okay, I want to see my editor only actors and I want to respect the show flags and then you'll see your cameras and your decals. And, you know, so if you had animated cameras here, you can see those. That's great. Then there is this use viewport camera in sequence. So if you didn't want to mess with your level sequence, but you just, you know, kind of wanted to come over here and see what it looked like from this perspective, you can hit quick render and it will render from that particular sequence. I have no idea what's going on with these. <laughs> They're probably because I didn't do a warm up. That's okay. So yeah, you know, all of this stuff is, Super handy here. The next, the last or next thing that I want to go over here is there's this icon here that says open up playback preferences. So, you know, if you noticed how it was opening up RV to play the sequence. So like if I go here and I go play render output, then it's going to respect these settings here in the plugin preferences, right? So just going from top to bottom, the output type priority, this will be like if you're rendering more than one type of file output, right? 
So like if you're rendering a JPEG sequence and a H.264 for dailies, right? Like if you wanted EXR frames and then you wanted this for dailies, this will this will basically be the priority of what it will automatically play back once you're done rendering. So you can set the priority. Uh, this will use the priority order, meaning like if it if it finds a JPEG and it finds a MP4, it'll play the JPEGs instead of the MP4 because MP4 is lower in the priority order. Or you can say, you know, play all types. Um, you can move these around here pretty easily. You just have to like get over here. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's just these little dots and you can kind of drag them up and down if you want to move the priority order. For a image sequence, you can either use your operating system or you can use a custom viewer. I'm using a custom viewer with RV. You just have to link to the executable. You know, down here, I just have it set to operating systems. It'll open with VLC or something. Here, you can have it set to be the full range, the first frame only, the job playback out of the first job or all jobs. And same thing layers, you know, either the first uh, layer or all the layers. Here are some additional commands if you want to add some additional commands to the command line launch. And then um, here, so, you know, different sequence playback software uses kind of different tags in the command line launch. Either it's start end frame, without start end frame, there's dollar sign F for end play. So you just have to figure out, you know, what piece of software you use and kind of how it wants to structure those. If you were to go look in the quick render docs here, they're at the bottom. They kind of list out some of the more popular pieces of software, RV, DGB view, and play, uh, sentencing. So, you know, it, when in doubt, you can kind of look here. The quick render docs are, they're kind of short and sweet. They're just the beginning, but they're great. Probably gonna be flushed out a bit more future releases. And then one other thing, before I let you go, is I want to talk about control rig use cases. So, you know, a lot of animators are going to be happy to see this. They're going to be like, great, I can play blast my animation and see it in a render context, which is fantastic. And you know, most people are going to want to see their rig controls with it. So now I have a character or I have a control rig here. My control rig, I, you know, my wonderful animation, I'm just moving it backwards. If you were to go ahead and you were to render this, oh, let's turn on. So let's put show editor actor only. And then you see that your controls are here, which is great, but it's not animating with your character. What you want to do is you want to go add a control display actor. All right. So let's take that control display actor. And then let's pick the actor that you want to display from. Pick the rig class. I have that selected here. There we go. And then, there we go. And let's copy this and go to our control actor and let's paste here. Great. So now, if you look, it's moving through it. So if you were to then now, um, so let's go ahead and run it. I'll show you. So now you'll get duplicate, right? So one is the control rig actor and one is the curves. So just go turn this uh, show editor back off. And then what you can do now is you'll get your animated curves with it, which is fantastic. They're talking about making it in future releases so that you don't have to do this. Like it, it'll just respect the actual curves or your actual actors in your control rig. Right now, those aren't really like those are transient. So they, they just don't kind of show up and play. Uh, this is a way around that. Yeah, so uh, hopefully you're as excited about the new quick render as I am. I know I won't miss having to make a billion different level sequences just to kind of render out a still or test things. And uh, you know, hopefully if you're an animator now, you'll you'll you know, kind of dive into the movie render queue world with us. So yeah, have a great one.